Hello everybody and welcome back to Arson Girl Gaming. My name is Heather and I am starting a new Let's Play. This is For The Sims Free Play. I have not played this. I was trying to think at how long it had been and I'm thinking it might be six months to a year since I've opened this game. Um, so I thought I would do that with you guys and let's see where I'm at. I'm kind of intrigued by the new penthouses update and I was seeing if maybe I could get back into playing it. I've played it literally since launch and, um, have played for off and on, like I'll, I'll get bored and then I'll stop playing it. So this is where I'm at. I thought you would be interested to see what kind of stuff pops up when I restart this game. So first notice is about the mystery box makeover so there's a present on my lot so I can look at new exciting content mystery boxes and what they have to offer I will tell you not to show me that again All right so I apologize but I am experiencing some technical difficulties I actually lost all of the footage of the notice reading that I was doing and my introduction back into the game from here until the next little clip you'll see so I apologize for that but let's get back to our regularly scheduled programming all right so the Simtown market has come to town the market allows you to trade profession resources for awesome prizes check it out now by tapping on the notice board at any of the following professional workplaces okay so we'll do that and was that it that's all my notices that I have let's see where I'm at I've got 10 million smolians I've got 32,000 LPs I knew I left a lot on the table um, I don't know what I want to do though let's oh yes let's log into Facebook and go through and get all of our little gold thingies out of the way and let's go look at the town oh my gosh we have oh I forgot that I had done the the tunnel I forgot that I had done that that was that was the last time I played so if you guys remember like when that was let me know because I can't remember I know it was a long long time ago so I haven't I haven't done anything in here like literally you can see everything these must be the new penthouses though because I think I just built the tunnel I don't think I did like I don't think I've ever come here except maybe I did for the hospital I guess I did let's look at my sims And I left a bunch of people going. Let's see, did I have medical staff? Okay, so I have been here. I've been to the hospital. I don't remember any of this. <laughs> so, yeah, this is this is like starting a brand new game. I'm not really sure where I'm at, what I'm supposed to do. So I am going to post this. After I just dig around a little bit, I, I don't know what to do and where to go and what to play first, and I don't know why I just went in there. Um, so if you guys want to give me any tips, give me uh, tell me what I should focus on right now. Um, that would be awesome. Because I'm really just not sure what I'm doing or what I want to do. But I did remember, I do vaguely remember opening the train station here. So that's good. I have a lot of active tasks. Let's see. Oh, I only have two bits left in the fortune teller. Let's see. And I need to do stuff at the police station. Can I buy my way through this? It doesn't look like it. Do I want the fortune teller? Should I work on that? Does it matter? Let's see. I, don't, I just really don't know what I want to be doing here. Which kind of makes it a challenge to, to play, honestly. To get back into playing. As soon as I get my footing under me, I'll be okay. 
but it has been such a long time. I just, I feel like I'm, I'm going around popping all the bubbles just because I want to get reacquainted with what I've got going on here. And, uh, refresh myself. I have to say, playing The Sims Mobile has made me want to come and uh, explore and get back into The Sims Free Play. And I feel like I'm behind the eight ball. I quit playing because sometimes it just takes so long and is so grindy to get anything. Or like, like you can see over in this area, I kind of abandoned a lot of it. I didn't even like do a lot of the things that I could do over here, like building out a lot of this stuff because of how much time and resources it takes to do it. All of these things that I didn't have and I just, it almost started to feel a little hopeless to me. Like I was not going to ever be able to do it without giving my life up to this game. Um, but like, I really wanted to go in here and you know, do the swimming and stuff. So I've got like a ring. I don't know why I keep hitting that. I've got a renewed interest though. So especially want to work on building the pet houses and all of that. So, all right. So we've done that. We've done that. Let's go back over. Oh, I forgot I did that too. Okay. Or I don't even have to pop my bubbles. Why do I keep going to the menu? That's driving me nuts already. All right, let's go here. Sims in the City Quest. Okay, so do I have a Sims in the City Quest? I don't have a Sims in the City. So let's go into the business. Let's see if the bulletin board's in the hospital. Yep, okay. And let's do this. Oh yeah, you're gonna use my lifestyle points, which I don't have. Continue playing the Simtown Market tutorial to unlock new orders, okay. View the workplace overview. Great job. Want to earn any more points? Build and upgrade your profession workplace to gain a bonus. You can track this bonus via the percentage in your workplace overview. Go and have a look now. Okay. come and start a work shift because I'm really not sure what I'm doing here. I don't know where the overview is. Guys, what am I missing here? This is probably not a good one because I haven't really upgraded this. Let's go back because I know I've been working on I was working on the police station and the movie movie studio these have been upgraded a little bit but I only have oh Simtown Market okay so I only have two days to do this and I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do. Let's have that come. Oops. I'm just hitting all kinds of stuff. I can do that. I thought I had somebody else. Let's see. Yep. Okay. We'll get them both working. And let me look at this notice again. Fortune teller event. Simtown Market Tutorial. I know, but I just, I don't understand. It's got to be the fortune teller event. Okay, 
oh here's my workplace overview okay guys it's like I've never played this game before I totally I'm totally feeling that way so what am I supposed to oops I see play and I play I don't care let's just see what we can get I'm not using any more of those I might need to be buying my way through a lot of stuff. I don't want to waste them. Alright, so. Alright, so I need to build and upgrade more workstations. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and trade, 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 trade. Trade, 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 okay. We'll stop when I have to pay for it. Task complete. Oh, well, that's good. Okay. So now complete the Simtown. Oh, it's still the same thing. Okay. The market employs couriers to visit your workplaces, offering valuable market tokens in exchange for help. Couriers run a tight schedule, so they must be helped before their time limit runs out. Have a sim start helping a courier. Couriers will only visit workplaces where the market is active. Hospital, movie studio, police station. Okay. So that must be the courier. And what's our biggest one? That's two hours. We'll do that one. Alright, and then well done. Couriers award you with valuable market token if you complete their actions with the time limit. Here's one for free to get you started. Go into the market now and use the token. It will give you tons of points. The Simtown. Okay, we need that. So, how do I get to the market though? Right there. Use the token. Ship the orders. And now I have some points. No way am I going to get to the fortune teller event, but hey, or get through it, but that's okay. Congratulations, you've completed the Simtown Market tutorial. Continue earning the points and keep your eye on the notice board. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. So let's see, can I make. I brought somebody else to work. Did I already get them doing something? Stuart's doing something. Where's Tori? Holy cow, these guys. We've got somebody getting ready to die. I feel like these are all strangers to me. I feel so bad. Alright, well, let's go real quick. to the movie studio. Oh, I don't want to do archery. Why am I thinking? I want this one. Okay, we'll go into the movie studio and see what our little worker bees are up to in here. Oh. Go to work. Oh, somebody's done with work. Oh, we've got some stuff going on in here. Let's see. Play a video. All right. And then. Man, I don't like that it wants all these lifestyle points because that's the one thing I have not accumulated a lot of. Doggone it. I have to figure out what they want. I don't I don't understand this really so any advice you guys can give me cool so I can do better but let's go ahead and get some workers going and some projects Okay. 
All right, so I've got my movie theater workers going. I really just need to spend some time kind of getting reacquainted with all this, but let's see what else I've got going on. Whoops. Talk to the wizard. Bake some cheesecake. I can do that. Let's go find a sim. Actually, let me just find a house that I want to go to. This right here is my favorite house. I'll get some mail. All right, got all of our goodies for the day. And, jeez. I have so much food just laying around. Is anybody here? It doesn't look like it. Let's go where Jessica is. Oh, okay. She was talking to the wizard, I guess. We can examine the crystal ball. Ask the wizard. Oops, I did not mean to do that. I was trying to read. I have to go back to the park. Like, I didn't even remember I was doing this. Oh, I need to bring Jessica to the park. Come on, Jessica. And we'll ask the wizard. And let's go. Ben's having a bath. Or actually, let me see whose hobby is cooking. That's Edward. Let's go to where Edward is and we'll have him do the cheesecake. All right. Um, and get some prizes. I'll be right back. All right, let's have our little friend bake us a cheesecake. And let's see what else we need to do. Bake some cheesecake, ask the wizard, fortune teller event, which we're working on. The prizes aren't bad. The rugs will be kind of fun. But, like, let's just see. I think we have to have the courier come. Is Nicole here working on something? I thought I had Nicole here. and see she's an intern she hasn't really done anything so what do we want her to be because I can upgrade all of those grades just so that I can and then I'll see if I can find somebody else to come work here too Do 
her resource spin here. Get some bandages. That's about all we can do right now. All right, let's see. Can we have someone who doesn't have a job? Who does not have a job? Those guys are too young. Oh. I didn't know I had Edward working here, so I guess maybe I have all my employees that I can have. Okay. Well, with that, you guys, I guess I'm going to wrap up this uh, first part of my Sims Free Play Let's Play and leave it here. I've asked you my questions. Give me the help. Give me the guidance. Let me know how you want me to play, where you want me to go, what you want me to do, what I should do, how I should do it, all of the above because I feel like I'm playing a brand new game and I will spend some time today. I probably won't be in front of the camera uh, but and be able to record it, but I'll spend some time trying to get reacclimated to the game and what's going on. Uh, so if you want to leave the comments below, I will try to read them as I'm going through my day and I will be back and record another episode of this real soon. And hopefully I won't sound like such a dummy this next time. And as always, if you did enjoy the video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you watched. And of course, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, do so. And YouTube will make sure to send you notifications when I post new videos and I'll be back again real soon. Have a great one guys.